Okay, we got our new uh, shipment in today. Uh, first, we got Crab's Adjust Humidity. Um, basically, this is the, an unofficial expansion for Cards Against Humanity. That's the same initials there. Um, basically, so if you're out of expansions on the uh, original game, or you just want some uh, an extra edge, because uh, everybody's been talking about this one. Um, they keep telling me it's... Uh, Pushes the edges a little bit further than the original one, so it's hard, kind of hard to believe, but that's what I keep hearing, you know, pretty frequently. Um, so we got those back in. This is the all five expansions for it, or you can play this right out of the box. There's, there's five ex uh, expansions included, so there's enough cards to do a full game. Um, or we do also do have the individual expansion packs if you're trying to just expand one at a time. But if you're going to buy all of them, this is probably the better, you know, more affordable way to go. We also got a uh, dungeon, the fantasy board game. Uh, this is one that's been around for quite a while. This is a real, real simple, basic dungeon crawl type game. So you're running in, fighting monsters, getting treasure, and whoever gets the most treasure at the end of the game pretty much wins. So it's kind of a, a good family uh, level uh, adventure type game. It's not a role playing game. It's more of a, it's, it's pure, uh, pure, pretty much a, just just a board game. But it's a good uh, entry level for that type of a game if they're into the fantasy and such. Uh, this we got uh, Grand Austria Hotel back in. This one's been um, getting a lot of buzz recently. Um, I haven't played it. It's on my most playlist, and I have a copy. I just haven't played it quite yet. But um, this is definitely one to check out. If you come to our Monday game nights, um, let me know, and you probably give it a shot because we do have it. Um, we also got a couple of the expansions for Time Stories. You don't have the main game in yet. Um, they're just still coming back out. But if you already have the game, um, we do have those. We got the, the Marcy case and the Prophecy of Dragons. So we got those. And um, we also got a Catan Cities and Knights expansion. This is probably the mo most popular um, expansion of uh, of Catan for the... the uh, more the more uh serious gamer type if you want to put it that way i don't like putting it that way but um but the, the ones that like a lot more strategy a lot more complexity a lot more things going on that makes the game feel quite a bit different almost like a brand new game almost we also got the legendary legendary dark city expansion um it's like the marvel themed um so if you're f familiar with that it's a deck building game and uh, um, where you're all working together trying to defeat the big bad guys and it's just another expansion for that you also got firefly flux back in um flux is if you're not familiar with that game um it's been around for a while it's uh it's a game where there's only two rules from when you first start is draw a card and play a card there's not even a way to win yet you actually have to play the goals and the rules to, as you go as you're playing the game so it's a that's why they call it flux because the rules are always in flux we also got a couple copies of LCR Wild. Um, had some LCR fans come in, and, they, and there's a couple customers that told me already like they really like this one better than the original one. From my understands, like uh, the Wild Dice, basically you could grab from someone else's pot, but that one's been real popular around here. And we finally got Lemming Mafia back in. Lemming Mafia is kind of a race type game where you're trying to do. Uh, bet if you want to call it betting you know there's no money in the line you're just trying to uh, anticipate and predict uh, who's going to win the race and you're trying to get the guy the race to finish in the uh, order that you want it to so this is a real simple game it's a really great family game um, it's kind of a weird blending of lemmings and mafia they have like cement boots and the whole nine yards it's a real simple easy game but it's a uh, it's a real a good one for especially for family level the game we got the machi koro expansion back in this the, the harbor extension we also have the uh the other expansion in as well we also have the deluxe version uh, which has like uh, two of the expansions built in um so if you want if you're eventually going both expansions might as well get the deluxe we also got a uh, gloom unwelcome uh, guest back in this uh, an expansion a lot of these expansions for gloom um not only add just add more cards a lot of them will just add uh, an extra player as well so if you're actually getting gloom that'd be one thing to consider grabbing an expansion for that reason um, we got Star Wars, a, a card game. Uh, this is what they call the living card game. So it's a, cl 
collectible, but you're not, uh, well, collectible is probably the wrong word, is all the expansions are pretty much permanently fixed, so you're not really running around like a Magic the Gathering chasing ultimate, ult, you know, rares, ultra rares, and that sort of thing. Um, so it's uh, basically, it's like one person controls the Rebels, and the other one controls the Empire. And speaking of Star Wars, we do have some of the new... The new line of uh, X-Wing uh, figures, that, uh, ships that just came in. Got the TIE Inquisitor, got the uh, Ghost Expansion Pack, got the Punishing One, and the Mist Hunter. We'll be getting a few more back in. Um, we're trying to get some of these other two ships. Uh, uh, additional ones, uh, probably next, uh, whenever they're available at distributors again. Uh, we also got Ticket to Ride Nordic Countries. Uh, this one's unique. Uh, all the different versions of Ticket to Ride always have a unique twist to it. This particular one is for two or three players. And with, what it does is it adds, uh, it's a little bit more cutthroat. But uh, if you play a regular Ticket to Ride as uh, a two player, it's a little bit, feels a little bit too open for some people. So yeah, you're not having a lot of interaction and blocking so this is a, t a tighter map so it's a little bit more cutthroat so it's a really great version if you all play a two-player game but also it goes for three so there's that one and we also got a bunch of sleeves back in um so we should almost be fully stock stocked i think we were missing everything but the tarot sized ones right now and this one's a new one um heard some great things about this one haven't played it but it's called fleets about like a fishing and such um if i haven't played so i haven't can't really tell you a whole lot in specifics but we do have that one back in got jumpy jack this one's kind of a betting game it's a really slick looking version uh of a horse racing game it's a uh, these little um, horse uh nice uh, metallic like uh figures for the horses and basically what you do is you uh roll the dice and you move first you roll right down with the order you want the horses to finish then on your turn you roll the dice and you move that any of the horses that many spaces and basically you're trying to get the race to finish the way um that you want it to so we've got a couple of those back in and we'll have one open um every uh, by tomorrow um because it really looks great if you want to come and take a look at that we also got another new one in monad um um, I haven't played this one, so you know it's a card game. So, but we do have that one in it's a Sid Saxon game, which is like basically he's like one of the most prolific um, game designers. He's pretty much pretty much ahead of his time. I mean, most people consider, and in, in a lot of this in this day and age of all these new games, and most gamers, you know, you hear that name and they uh, say, yeah, you know, he still holds up. So, we also got Sleuth back in. If you like Clue. I think this is also Sid Saxon. Yeah, it is. Yeah, I feel like Clue type games is like Clue on steroids. So it's like the whole trying to figure out who has the gem type thing, but it wor works very well, very much like a, a, a Clue does the, the process elimination type stuff. You also have another Sid Saxon game, Venture. Um, so there we have that one as well. And let's see, we got Age of Steam back in. We have a couple of the maps already. Um, this is probably. A little more complex version of the ticket to ride type of game but it is quite a bit different um so we do have that and we got a couple new copies of pitch car back in this is a disc flicking game um we'll have this out out set up on uh, tabletop day on april 30th but this is a really great one to always is a, a hit when they when it's out we also got a montage back in um all right not back in but it's brand new for us but um, we do have that one. Um, I haven't played it, but I saw some real, real great reviews on it. Uh, and let's see what else we got. We got uh, well, we got t-shirts. We got this back in. <laughs> this is a Yes We Kit Han um, t-shirt. So we got a bunch of different t-shirts in now. Um, we probably we're experimenting with these still. So, but we do have a few. Uh, most of them are game theme related. We got the Shall We Play a Game from War Games. Got Crabs Adjust Humidity from the um, you know the games that I showed you a second ago. And we got uh, where's the other ones? Got a Choose Your Weapon has a bunch of polyhedron dice. And this one's really cool. One. It's a Catan Wheat Brew T-shirt. And we're trying to get a few other ones. We got several different sizes in those. And what else do we got? Oh, this one. On, on Guard's a really great game. Um, this is a Reiner Kinesia game. Um, I got set up in it for, uh, here, uh, 
I'll show you in a second. Um, we have the travel version one, but this is like the full board version. It's really, really cool looking, and the, the little pieces are really great. It's a real simple, uh, basically it's a, a fencing game. So you're using cards and you're pairing and doing all these different things. But here's the board right here is like, as you see, it's like a 3D board and um, have little stair steps and I kind of glued this together because I'm going to not bother putting it back in the box and go, so it's uh, nice and stable but as you can see those little sh uh, figures are real detailed and these are actually metal so they're really nice looking so they'll be back going back and forth like you do in joust or not jousting but um, fencing and you're trying to uh, either you stab the guy or try to push him off the edge type of thing so we got that in and finally we got uh, past the trap um, if you're familiar with another game called fast track this is like uh, just like that except this is a real nice version actually this is a real huge version this is this table here is probably 42 43 inches wide and just fits on it but it's a really cool if you have like a pool table or something like that or air hockey in your house um it's a real great uh, com uh thing to add on to it oh, i'm doing pretty good on this it's one handed i'm left handed but basically what you're doing you're going in real time and you're, you're flinging these back and forth and you're trying to be the first one to get all your discs on both sides on one side so that each person has five discs so whoever gets both uh, all your discs on the opponent's sides basically gets the point and we have a couple other ones we got as you can see, that's uh, that cardboard box there is the uh, the one I just showed you, but the, you also have the smaller version, um, that one there, so it's a little bit more manageable, and got this real, real small one there as well. And it's about the same size as the Fast Track, if you've seen it. We always had that one out. And while I'm here, we got some really cool things here. We've got uh, a Bagatelle. Bagatelle's basically a uh, predecessor to both Pinball and Pachinko. So basically you're, you're launching the ball up and you're getting into the little uh, spots for points. So it's a real simple game, but it, it's, it's, it's a real, uh, it's a great one to have though. Um, we also got Crokinol, which is kind of a shuffleboard type game as well. So, and that's about it. And so we'll talk to you next time. Bye.